I don't know who you guys know. But it's the old adage. It's not what you know, it's who you know. Now, I, I don't know who you guys know. You know, my son used to have a bike like that. And I sold it. And that's exactly what, what, who bought it. Some dude who's too big to be using it. <laughs> it cracks me up, man. That dude is too big for that bike. But I sold it to people who are going to do exactly that. Ride it like... It's the next coming of Judas Priest or something. If you know what I mean. I guess they feel safe on a bike that size. Does that make sense, guys? No, personally, no. I can't see it, you know what I'm saying? If you're gonna ride a bike, get one that's good for your good for your size. I sold it to three dudes. Or there was three dudes here anyway. And uh they were gonna be they were gonna ride it. That was their that was their goal in life. <laughs> it's like so I was I was being careful what to say because you know, I didn't want to say the wrong thing to make them, you know, think that they were pussies, but <laughs> there's my dogs. I just fucking want them. They, the the problem is they they do that at, at night, after ten o'clock, and the neighbor gets fucking pissed off. One neighbor. I've been here for a very long time. <sighs> I've had a lot of dogs. I've had a lot of dogs on the property at one time. Never had anyone complain. They used to. I used to have maybe eight dogs howling out back there. <laughs> Now I've got three. I got a next door neighbor that just bitches and cries and fucking whatnot. Well, you know what I mean? It's, it's like, it's one of those neighbors, you know, they got a couple of kids and they're worried about making their mortgage payment, their car payment, insurance, how they're going to send their kids to college. All that fucking bullshit. You know, so every little creek and crack in the night wakes him up. <laughs> Does that make sense, guys? Okay. Time to go to work. We gotta go pick up a car? I don't know. Hey, I just cracked, I just cracked my nuts on that bump. They were in the wrong spot, shall we say. Um, yeah, these, this glove here, these ones are good, man. They're ski gloves. They're from quite a few years ago I bought them. They're still solid as a rock. <clears throat> but anyways, yeah. My hand is warm, I'll give you, I'm going to tell you that. As long as I don't get run over by a car. Oh, I definitely, I definitely crack my nuts on the seat. <laughs> Yeah, it just happened to happen. 
Shit happens, guys. Shit happens. How's that angle? You loving life? I think it might be a little low. Okay. There we go. I'm real conscientious of that angle now. Yeah, I got only one hood on. I'm gonna have to just I'm gonna be sat here. We're picking up a car. We don't want to be there at any special time, you know what I'm saying? He's gonna just leave the keys, hide the keys. I, I don't like to make it to where I have to be there at a certain time. If I get a chance to See, I'm, I buried one of my cats right here. This was all grown in. And, lot, you know, more trees here. More shrubs. They're, it's getting kind of open now. I really need to put that other hood on. Should I just toughen it up, kids? There's a, 